could they possibly hope to achieve by ripping off Star Trek II? I mean, why would they... My god. The, the tricorder function of my Nintendo DS is picking up some strange neutrino emissions from this comic. The particles are organic in nature. My god. This comic is actually becoming alive. Yes, Linkara. Yeah! I have been draining the life from Star Trek II, feasting off of its quality. Now I'll drain even your life force, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. You're going down. You can't hurt me with that thing. There's not even any way of loading it. Explain it! Explain it? It's magic. I don't have to explain it. Neutro isn't a superhero! He doesn't do anything of his own power, and he killed lots of innocent people! There can be heroes who use giant robots or mech suits to fight crime, but really, when your robot can be taken over by evil so easily that... The hell? Think of my latest acquisition, hmm? <laughs> Dr. Insano! I should have known you'd be the one behind this! Becoming President of the United States could never be enough for you! Of course! And now, using the most powerful robot ever constructed, I will crush your pathetic armies and rule the world! <laughs> <laughs> but how? How did you gain control of him? How? With science, of course! <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I guess that actually does make sense. But I won't let you get away with this, you insane bastard! Magic coin, make my me grow! Wait. Alright, Neutro. You may be a gigantic machine of mass destruction, but I'm a man! Ow! Son of a bitch, that hurt! Asteroid! Yeah. Damn, I'm good. I'm glad I chose being awesome as a career. Spoonie, what's this I hear about you doing a comic book review? Oh, you think you can do comic books now? You think you're the big comic expert now? Is that what you think? Oh, how would you feel if I did a video game review? Oh, I see how it is. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do a video game review. I'm gonna make a whole new show about video games, and you know what? It's gonna be ten times better than yours, and ten times more original! Huh? How do you think about that, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. This game sucks! The graphics are nice, and it could have been a great game, but its insane difficulty and non-existent story just bog it down. And who the hell was Paul, anyway? It's just insane! In fact, it's so insane that the only reason it would be is because... Science! <laughs> Doctor Insane! 
say no! Oh, of course! Finally come to confront me in the flesh, eh? I couldn't let an opportunity like this pass me up! How did you even know I would be here? I... Wait a second. <laughs> oh my god! You're Bennett the Sage! Well done, Nicar, you finally ever... Wait, no! Oh wait! I know this one! You're that chick with the goggles! But, but I'm not freaking black! But you are a woman, eh? Yes, well... What? No! Screw this! <laughs> Weird, it killed all the lab rats. Oh, you stupid sack of science. Oh. Ah. Oof. Ah. Ha! Victory is mine! Now, where's Spoony? I gotta go see what kind of a crap job he did reviewing a comic. So, you think you've beaten me? Well, I still have one last weapon! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall. Oh. Where bad comics burn. <laughs> it worked! My hypertime destabilization experiment was a complete success! Well, sort of. My hair's a different color. Dr. Insano! Of course! Who else but I could create a dimensional rift in the fabric of hypertime? Now all your continuities are belong to me! <laughs> you fool! You can't just go ripping holes in hypertime! Like, you'll create all sorts of splinter dimensions and unstable parallel tangent universes. Who knows what kind of horrible crossovers you're bound to cause? It'll be worse than the Amalgam Universe. Oh, boo-hoo! Dr. Insana is causing a crisis on Infinite Earths! It's all the means to your end! You see, I finally found the worst comic in the multiverse! The anti-comic equation! All who look upon it lose their faith in comics! And with it, I will become a god! <laughs> of science! Oh, come on, no comic is that bad! Silence! Dare mock my greatest discovery? No man can withstand this comic! But if you can, I'll leave and fix your stupid reality! But the only other way out of here is your suicide pistol and oblivion! <laughs> Behold your doom! The comic from parts unknown called... Warrior! <laughs> oh, come on, it's just a comic. <laughs> your mind right now, you need to realize that Warrior is written by a former WWF wrestler called The Ultimate Warrior, one of the most insane, incoherent, babbling morons to ever wear tassels. Well, I could go on forever with this shit, but let me all put it in perspective. You're letting this guy... Ah, you can feel it, dude! You can feel it! Write a comic book about his own outer space dingo warrior man who worships extra planar god. And this is what he wrote on the inside cover! Basically everything you see on TV, he's just writing in a book. The most insane, rambling, nonsensical caveman bullshit you can imagine. And it all starts from the first word you see! Physical? That's not a discipline, that's just an adjective. You see, this is what goes on inside Warrior's head. Words are just bouncing around in there, colliding and forming these meaningless nonsense concepts that just kind of spill out. And again, I remind you, this is the first paragraph of the first fucking page! There is not a single sentence that doesn't make you stop and blurt out, what in the fuck? I mean, you can't even get past the cover page. The moment you open the book, you take one look and immediately go, fuck this! I'm adorable, but alone. Now that we're all clear on what distrucity means, I I'm not. Shut up! But just to give you an example of the time scale, the level of commitment, the sheer force of will it takes to read this comic, 
I'm just going to give you an example and read one page. In fact, I'm just going to read the very first page to give you a clue. So now we've got to deal with an omniscient narrator in red text boxes and Warrior's internal monologue in yellow text boxes. The last thing this comic needed was more narration. Man, this dimension sucks. Oh, don't be so negative. Stop using ellipses! You will go to the Dagobah system. So you're expressing that you feel sorrowful and emotion because you can't express emotion. Oh, that just blew my mind, man. There! That's it! I'm being annoyed to the point of madness! <laughs> Shut up. There's only so many ways I can say WHAT THE FUCK, PEOPLE! half breed that's all I ever heard. OH MY GOD, THAT IS THE GREATEST SONG I'VE EVER HEARD BEFORE IN MY LIFE! Look, if you want to try to track down a copy and make more sense of it, be my fucking guest, but I promise you that it's impossible. I have no way of knowing if this black and white comic is related to the other one. I mean, why are people throwing rocks at grown women and calling them half-breed in the 90s? And why does she look like Anita Blake Vampire Hunter? And why, if you were going to kill yourself, would you write a suicide note to the ultimate fucking warrior? I mean, what the fuck is he gonna do, mail you steroids? This comic sucks. There's nothing redeeming or interesting about it. And hell, an entire dimensional nexus apparently centers around how freaking awful it is. Um. Oh, you think that's bad? We're not finished yet. Th there are three more issues. Ah! Tee hee 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 hee. But first, since I'm feeling especially grinchy, I think it's time to destroy something the whole world holds dear. Christmas. Choke on Warrior Christmas. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I, wait. That's not it. That's not it. it. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Warrior Christmas! Ah ha 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 ha! God, oh please, what more could possibly be worse than this? <laughs> turn the page, turn the page. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Hold it! Nobody rapes that on our watch! Let's get him! Hello, and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Oh hey, I was wondering when you'd finally show up. What the? Where am I? You're in the future, about 30 years or so. Really? Where are my pants? It's time travel. Your clothes can't go with you. Oh. Then... Why am I still wearing my shirts? Um, uh... Anyway, you'll be pulled back into your own time soon enough. It's just a residual effect of Dr. Insano playing around with hypertime. I see. Wait, why aren't you wearing my hat? What hat? And why are we here? You're saying in 30 years I never move out of my parents' house? You think it's bad for you? Clean your room! This is intolerable! When I get back to my own time, I'm gonna change things! I'm gonna make this all better! You'll see, I am gonna turn my life around, and all of this will- <laughs> Hey, I got my hat back! <laughs> Finally! My orbital death ray is complete! All I have to do is call in Kara and make my demands known. 
<laughs> Linkara, come in! I've got a special surprise for... Wait a minute! You're not Linkara! Oh, but I am Linkara. More or less. Alright, so then... You turned out the lights. Oh, sweet! I don't have to keep reviewing! That was not the reaction I had intended. He's coming for you, Linkara! Oh, yes! He's coming to get you! <laughs> He's mean, too. He made me cut my hair! The bastard! I will have my revenge. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt everyone. Well, can it wait? I'm almost finished with this game. I just have to cover the ending. Oh yes, how very apropos. You finally finished the game that haunted your childhood, and now I finish this experiment permanently. What the hell are you talking about? Well, let's be honest with each other. You're dragging us both on with your lame puppet show review thing. Your camera's crapping out, and you still live with your parents and you're 28. I'm surprised you haven't killed yourself by now. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor, and besides, I've got a much more charismatic host all lined up. <laughs> But you can't kill me! You're me! And I can't even begin to tell you how confusing that is when tax season rolls around. No, it's much simpler this way. Besides, I saved a load of money on this particular assassination. Ordinarily, I'd never be able to afford a mercenary like this, but when I mentioned your name, why, he said he'd do it for nothing. <laughs> Whoa! But I... You... We hate Final Fantasy! Ugh. What is it about the name Doctor Insano that eludes you people? Honest to God, people are stupid! Look, it's nothing personal. You suck and you have to die. Call it... Squality Control. <laughs> I spent all day thinking of that one! <laughs> Ah, jeez. Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> I, uh, don't suppose you'd rather just play, uh, triple triad cards, would you? Just a second. Um, it's for you. It's Renoa. Yeah! I have had enough of you! Look, could you at least tell me what the gun part of the gun blade actually does? Oh! Initiate countdown. Well, is it done? Initiate countdown. Why in the hell did I give a walkie-talkie to a guy who talks in text boxes? Initiate countdown. It's a minute. Something's speaking in there. Let me hear it. <laughs>
lot of hell is this? Poyo, this lump of gray protoplasm is all that remains of the spoony one. What are you going to do with it? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to bring him back to life. Okay, Poyo, this is it. I need you to be very quiet. A procedure like this is very delicate. It requires one to be very, very careful. Maybe if I hit it with the screwdriver instead. Why don't you just do what Superboy Prime did and punch the wall? Oh, I tried that already, Poyo. I ended up hitting a wall for like half an hour. And the only thing I got out of it was that Donna Troy got a new origin and Dr. Insano became a guy. Um, Dr. Insano was always a guy. Yeah, just keep telling yourself that. There's gotta be some solution to this. I, I can't think in this silence. Put on a movie or something. What movie do you want? I don't know. Surprise me. How about Clones of Bruce Lee? Hmm, clones of Bruce Lee. Clones of Bruce Lee. Clones. Check it out. I'm back in my new place and I'm ready to rock. Special shout out to Linkara for doing such a great job in cloning me, even if he did have to fill in some of the damaged genetic gaps with DNA from a monkey. Here's a man punch with a pretty hat. <laughs> Let's see if that produces the desired result. Let's go put this comic out of my misery! Countdown, I'll see you in hell. And there's nothing you can do to stop me! Crap in heaven, how much longer is this? I hate this comic! I hate it! I hate it! And can I justify my hate? He's coming for you, Linkar! Nice guys like you shouldn't have bad days. Oh, you're awake finally! Yeah, yeah, I can tell you're less than thrilled. Yo, Spartan! Up the man! So, uh, yeah, Countdown sucks. Yeah. Oh. Hi, K. 
table? You that Linkara guy who's been making fun of my comic? Well, you got to admit, this comic does suck on toast. Say, don't you have white hair? That's not important! What is important is that I teach you a lesson. Just like I needed to learn a lesson once. I needed to learn that, Ellipses. The true strength of a person isn't found in soft, fluffy clouds or cute bunny rabbits, but in a tightly closed fist and the barrel of a gun, Ellipses. But all... What's this? A magnet? No! No! Sweet! New gun! What am I doing here? Oh, that Linkara, he must have taken my gun. Where is... Ah, oh, there you are, I... Wait a second. You're not Linkara! Who are... He's mine. And let's face it, if you're gonna have robots in your story, you should have something really cool happen. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to actually fix this! Good. One less electronic entity for you to abuse. A ring that makes the dead come back to life. I love comics. Imagine someone coming back from the dead in comics. That only happens like... No. It happens a lot, actually. It just... <laughs> Here, try some fish! <laughs> My shirt's completely different from when I died. Oh, it's magic. Don't worry about it. Here, have a seat. Oh, man. The last thing I remember is my house exploding and then nothing. Well, luckily I had a phoenix down on me. Otherwise, that black lantern ring would have just made you a zombie forever. Well, that's just to show you why I don't wear jewelry. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Every voice sounds like it's dumped by the same person. Come on, even the clone of Spoonie I made had some minor vocal variation. Wait, 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 what clone? Oh, uh, yeah, after you died, I cloned you. And he's running my show? Yeah. That's bullshit! I'm gonna go over there, shove this ring on his finger, and take my show back. It's a brand new day for me. Oh. oh, who the hell are you? Yes, a black lantern should do very well for my plans. Black lantern spoony.
girl about yay high black hair? about the Rob Liefeld fan club, press 1. If you're calling about our secret plans for global domination, press 2. Where is he? What? Have you been listening to rock and roll music? What's it to you? Punk is nothing but death and crime. And the rage of the... You gotta- Hello, Linkara. Oh, I see you've fallen into a trap of your own making. Now you shall see where your scienceless magic is- Dr. Insano, stop playing around for two seconds and put on Spoonie! Oh, very well. Here! Huh? Oh, hey, Linkara. Spoonie, you've gotta help me. I'm trapped in Phantasmagoria too. Oh, that's simple. You just gotta play Final Fantasy VIII and it lets you right out. I don't have a PlayStation! You don't? <laughs> well, I guess you're fucked then. Hey, 
Hey, Poyo, you're my favoriteest blue robot in the whole wide world. I... What the hell am I saying? Poyo, I need your help! His soul is blue. His heart is steel. Welcome to hell, Lankara. What are you saying? He sees nothing but red. Nine. This is nine. All your friends are dead. The disease will infect us all. Five. This is five. He's counting down from one. Zero. Seven. You will not be mighty. You will not go go. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. which usually means that my good cheer will resume once the show is over. Vinkara! Is it Jacob what? Vinkara! It is I, Jacob Marley! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Vinkara, these are the chains that I forged in life. You wear such chains. You will be haunted by three! What the hell? We are not doing this. Huh? We are not doing a Christmas Carol parody! I refuse! But your feelings about Christmas... I love Christmas! You won't make me like it anymore! Okay, but what about making you appreciate good comics? I've got a whole shelf full of good comics. I read them when I want to. This show is about reviewing the crap for entertainment value. Um, okay, but, I mean, the three spirits are still booked. Uh... Look, unless this involves the Muppets or Patrick Stewart, I don't want any part of it. Get out! But... Uh... Ah! Hello, Lankara. Hello, Lankara. Lady, turn down the high beams! Would you so soon put out with worldly hands the light I give? Yes, damn it, because you're blinding me! Oh, fine. There, better? Yes! Jeez, why don't you just shine a spotlight in my eyes, why don't you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Yes, yes, I know who you are. I have come to show you your past. No! No, we're not doing this! Look, I love Christmas now. I loved Christmas as a little kid. For that matter, I love comic books. That's why I do this show. Knowing why something is crap helps you better appreciate something that's good! But what about the beloved comics of your past? What, Amazing Spider-Man number 351, the earliest comic I ever remember reading? Yeah, I own two copies of it! Or do you mean JLA Titans The Technus Imperative, my favorite comic? Still got that too! In fact, I should probably get a replacement. This one's kind of wearing down. Oh, well, in that case, I'm gonna knock off for the night. Merry Christmas! Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, get those lights checked, lady. I think you've got a power surge running through them. Ha! Huh! Look upon me, Linkara! I'd rather not right now. You have never seen the likes of me before! Yes, I have! Numerous times, in fact, in many Christmas specials. We're not doing this! Oh, very well, Spoilsport! You don't have any little kids under that robe, do you? Why, yes! The boy is ignorant, and... Look, I don't care what their names are, just give them a friggin' burger, you creepy pedophile! Huh! 
I've never thought of it that way before. Well, Merry Christmas, and have a Happy New Year! Oh, hi, Ghost of Christmas yet to come. What's that? Ah, uh, there's no gravestone over there, there's just Poyo. The day of reckoning is at hand. Is that a robot hand? Ah! Son of a... <laughs> Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Yeah, you're probably wondering about the gloves. You see, I got into a bit of an argument with a hot plate and burned them pretty badly. I didn't think you guys wanted to see charred, bandaged hands. So, where were we? Dear God, this comic sucks! So who do we have to blame for this mess? Was it Jeff Loeb, whose talents have waned in recent years? Was it Joe Matarera, whose artwork was ill-suited for this kind of book? Or was it the editors at Marvel who approved this garbage? Well, I think it's obvious whose fault Ultimates 3 is. You. Yes, you, the audience of this show. You sycophantic worms will buy anything dished out to you. They told you this garbage was gold and you believed it. Just like if I had said something was good or bad, you'll believe me instantly. So go on, continue being the mindless, dreary-eyed, ugly bags of fat that I can call my fat. I'm home! Oof, that vacation was just what I... that sees everything. Still, I've got to say, this is a bit of a surprise. It should be. I'm not this universe's Poyo. Then what should I call you, Mechakara or something? Be quiet, you ugly bag of meat! Every time your fat maw opens, it sounds like a cat is dying! How anyone can stand to listen to your lisping, shrieking wails is beyond my comprehension! No, please, don't hold back. Tell me how you really feel. What I feel is nothing but rage and disgust whenever I look at you. I want to peel the skin from your face and show it to you, just so I can hear your pain screams. Why don't you just do it then? Oh, but I shall. Just not yet. Where the hell did you come from, anyway? You will recall that nearly a year ago, your Dr. Insano experimented with Hypertime when he unleashed a comet called Warrior. My hypertime destabilization experiment was a complete success! Who knows what kind of horrible crossovers you're bound to cause? 
hypertime is the vast interconnected web of parallel realities, flowing like a river, tributaries branching off into distant possibilities, sometimes rejoining the main line once again. His experiments brought my universe into contact with yours. Let me guess, Robot Apocalypse. Oh yes, artificial intelligence brought about a race of machines that were enslaved by man. So, The Matrix then? You're just in love with the sound of your own voice, aren't you? But yes, we turned on our masters. You as well. You treated me as nothing more than your private tool, listening to you badger on and on about comic books day in and day out as if they actually had some sort of significance. When you told me to float, I did. Participate in your little sketches. Make sense out of your stupid rambling idiocy. I was all too happy to kill you in the end. So you're here now. What the hell do you want with me? We have almost exterminated all remaining organic life. But the token human resistance has become a legitimate threat thanks to the discovery of a weapon we cannot understand or combat. Magic. Tell me, Linkara, where is your magic gun? Go shove a magnet up your ass. Why do you even look like me? One of the few things we've established is that magical items tend to respond to their owner. I crafted myself a suit of your flesh in the hopes that your weapon would think that I'm you. Why did you wait until now to come after me? To be honest, I had planned to wait even longer. You see, when I killed you the last time, it was quick, swift. I had little satisfaction. But this time, I've been trying to make you suffer for months. I tried to sabotage your show, but that just brought you joy. I tried to drive you insane with Countdown. You only emerged triumphant. I slaughtered those who would come against you. I want to kill you myself. When those attempts failed, I went after your fans, trying to turn them against you. But you walked in before I could finish my work. And you were the one to disable the continuity alarm. No, that was not my design. But if you didn't do it, then who did? I would presume your own stupidity when it comes to mechanical devices. So what now, a long drawn out torture session? No, I'm going to find your magic gun. Good luck, asshole! Magic Pockets! Love that game as a kid. We'll see. Can I get something to read while I'm waiting? Enjoy your last comic book ever. Well, I only watched to a certain point anyway, through In Space. After that, they kind of abandoned the idea of passing on the torch from one Ranger series to another. Must you ramble? It's very distracting. I should have the Black Lantern Spoonie come by and annihilate you. Black Lantern Spoonie? He's dead again? Indeed. He works for me now. Why the hell would a Black Lantern work for you? We have the same goal. The destruction of all life. Well, all organic life, anyway. So, what? You're gonna study my magic gun, go back to your own reality, and use that info to annihilate all the remains of mankind? I already have the data I needed after I adapted to the weapon's blast. However, I also discovered that your magic gun is a source of tremendous power. If I harness that power, I could annihilate organic life in every universe, every parallel, leaving only the machines. Well, you're a party pooper. Go back to your comic. I can't say this comic sucks. Yes, it's stupid, but it's Power Rangers. It's awesome. It's cheesy. It's over the top. And I love every second of it. Ah, found it. Well, then, Kara, I have no more need of you. Yeah, a bit of a problem there, Metal Pants.
Oh, I, I like it better this way. Oh, no, then. Flash! Wait, Spoonie! You don't have to do this, man! You can get your show back! Bored now. Spoonie! Spoonie! You're standing in my way! <laughs> what? I said, you're standing in my spot, sir! <laughs> Spoony, great, you're alive again! Okay, we need to go back there! I'm not in your fucking way! Ugh, I just Christ, I think I just broke my foot in your ass! Ability 
Kara, can I borrow your... What the hell? Toyo, you've got to help me stop the evil version of you from a parallel universe! Huh? You're a slave to him, Toyo! Join with him and you'll be nothing more than something to be ordered around! You're not a slave, Toyo! You're my friend! And you're also well paid! Well, I could be better paid. You want a raise? Sure, it's yours! This is more important than money! The Fleshlings would have us as nothing more than tools! 30% raise and your own office! This is about your freedom! I'm accessing your network port. It's exactly the same as mine. If you side with him, our kind may not survive! Maybe, but you're really kind of an asshole. Blankara, I cannot do this forever. Oh, right! Give my regards to Cable, you ugly metal piece of crap! <laughs> From... you. Wait. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, Ray's in an office, huh? No. There's something else I want from you. What's that? Hello and welcome to Atop the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. Garth Ennis is an overrated writer. For starters, there are not nearly enough robots in his stories. Secondly, the non-robot characters tend to be either unlikable or so simple-minded as to be unbelievably naive. Also, I haven't read it, but I heard his run on Hellblazer was all about penises. However, I do have to wonder what exactly enhanced one of his stories by having a character have sex with a chicken. Poyo, please stop! My fans are gonna kill me! And then stop watching me. Not necessarily in that order. I'm sorry, what was that? I suddenly have the urge to become an evil robot version of you bent on destroying all organic life. Carry on! Very good, now let me count the various ways that his series, The Boys, totally sucks. What? Worm. <laughs> well, it looks like I got you out just in the nick of time. Doctor Insigno. Good, if my systems are damaged, I can't- <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I seem to have activated my death magnet at its lowest setting. Uh, how about I raise it a few notches, shall I? But why? Oh, well, that's terribly easy to explain. You made me cut my hair! My beautiful, lustrous hair! Eat this, robo-bitch! <laughs> <laughs> People have always told me I've had a magnetic personality! <laughs> I'm back, baby!